button. Uh, well, what is up, guys? Good morning. Uh, so let's talk in a vlog from yesterday. So they uploaded a vlog about Mila sticking her middle finger up. It's funny, we've had Esme, we've had a vlog about Isla and Isabel fighting, and then we've had a, and now we've had a vlog about, uh, about uh, Mila sticking her middle finger up now. Um, obviously, we know that Isla, uh, Isla was obviously teaching her to do that. So, my initial thought on it is that Isla probably shouldn't even be sticking her middle finger up herself, let alone teaching Isla, teaching Mila to do that. To be honest, I still don't, when I look at it, I still don't understand why Chris and Sarah felt the need to film that and put that out there on a public social media platform. It's like, you know, it's like they were proud of the fact that Mila was sticking her middle finger up. It's like they thought that was something to be proud of, and it's not. At the end of the day, it's, they shouldn't be proud of the fact that their three-year-old child is sticking her middle finger up, you know, regardless of whether, you know, of whether or not it was intentional. It still shouldn't have been filmed and put out and put out online at the end of the day. Uh, you know, if, uh, this is the problem. Is it feels like a lot of the things that me and Jerry stick, you know, it feels like they were being taught how to do it or they've been encouraged to do it by... The older three, by the older three girls, as May Isla and Isabel, it feels like they're in her, it feels like they're kind of encouraging them and teaching them to do a lot of things they shouldn't be doing, and it, it, you know it is a bit concerning to be honest. Um, I mean, you look at yes, uh, Sarah's TikTok video she put out yesterday, and um, Mila and Jay in the background, Mila and Jay's were hitting each other, and it looked like Esme was encouraging them to do it. And again, she, if Esme was encouraging them to do that, she probably shouldn't have been encouraging them to do it. You know, just like Isla probably shouldn't really be encouraging or teaching Mila to stick her middle finger up. It's not really. I mean, Isla probably shouldn't even really be doing that herself, let alone, to, you know, let alone teaching Mila to do that. You know, I mean, there's no need for a three-year-old child, for, uh, for a three-year-old child to be sticking her middle finger up anyway. You know, a three-year-old, that's not something that a three-year-old child should even know how to do. You know, it, it, that, that's what I'm saying, is it's not really something that a three-year-old child should know how to do. You know what, right, I feel like Chris and Sarah put that blog out there last night because they knew it would get a lot of negative reaction. They knew that people wouldn't really react positively to it and would actually question why Mila was doing this and what you know why they you know why they filmed that. And I think they wanted people to give them a lot of back to give them some negative comments or give them a lot of backlash for the fact that Mila's doing something like that. You know but as I said you can't really blame Mila because it's like how can you blame Mila for doing that when Isla is the one that you know that is teaching her to do it, you know. She is. You even heard me to say that in the vlog last night. Me even said Isla taught me. Isla told me how to do it. So, you know. It, I mean, obviously, I, I'm not trying to. Say, I'm not saying I'm not speaking up for Isla on this occasion. Normally, I would. I mean, Isla's, I know, I know Isla's not a bad kid, but probably not really wise for her to be teaching her three year old sister, her three year old sister, how to stick her with a finger up. You know. But the fact that Sarah and Chris would put that out there online. Is even more crazy because you know there, there was no need for them. To, there was no real need for them to put that out there online, um, and just starts to show, you know, how that their level of stupidity. I would say it does to show how bad they can really be. The fact that they would think, you know, it, it was necessary to kind of put that out there. I mean, we had that as I said, we had that vlog last week. About you know about Esme and Isla having the, you know, fighting, and then today and then last night we had a vlog about me and the swearing. I mean, just hitting them with a finger up. It's like, what the heck are they doing? Like, it, it, it's just it's just baffling that the, you know that they would think it was necessary to put that sort of a vlog out there online. You know, it's like where's their respect for their child? If they had any respect for their uh, respect for their children, they would not have filmed their shit their three year old child sticking her middle finger up and they would not have broadcasted that online for public consumption. You know, they, they they put that out there online like it was something to be proud of. Like do they really think that 
that's something to be proud of. But that just goes to show how bad their parenting really is, the fact that their three-year-old knows how to do something like that. You know, it's like when you see things like this and you see them put plots out like this, it makes you, it really kind of makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes, like what's going on, like, off camera. Because we don't, this is the thing, like, we don't really get to see what goes, what really goes on off camera. You know, we only really get to see what they show on camera. And it's probably that, you know, and I wouldn't mind betting that with people that are family like the Inhams, there's probably a lot more that we don't get to see. You know, there's probably way worse going. There's probably a way worse stuff that goes on off camera that they don't even show. Um, and it's like, you know, but the fact that they thought that the fact they put that out there online yesterday is a bit concerning. But it's also a bit concerning that the young, that the older three kids seem to be encouraging the <coughs> encouraging the younger two, Jason Miller, to be doing a lot of thing, doing a lot of things they probably shouldn't be doing, like. Me, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, let's face it. I uh, probably should not really be sticking a middle finger up herself, let alone teaching Mila to do that. You know, I mean, obviously Mila's not really old enough to to know what that you know to know what it means, which is fair enough. But it's it's still not really something that Ida should be teaching her to do, whether you know, regardless of whether Mila knows what it means or not. It's still not really something that you know, either should be teaching her to do, you know, or encouraging her to do, you know. It's not, I mean, Ida probably shouldn't even be doing it herself, let alone teaching her younger, her three-year-old sister, her three-year-old sister to do that, you know. I mean, that makes it even worse, the fact that Mina's only three years old and she's sticking her middle finger up and they've actually filmed her doing that and put that out there online for public consumption. Like, I just don't agree with that at all, and I just, I just think it's wrong, the fact that they did that, like, the fact that they filmed her, so they, they filmed her three-year-old daughter sticking their middle finger up, and they put that out there online, like, I think they were, they were bargaining for a lot of negative reaction on that vlog, and there were a few, quite a few negative reactions, and people say, there was a comment there from people, from someone saying that they should never have uploaded it, because they might be kids watching, um, you know, people questioning where she's learned that from and, and, and obviously why and who she's seen doing that. Because but this, this is the thing, like when you see a young kid do like a young kid say a four you know, three, four year old do something like that, they're they normally only they normally ever only do things like that purely because they've actually seen someone do it. Like you know, purely because they've seen someone doing it. And they're hopping what that person they are hopping that person. You know but the fact that Isla is kind of teaching Mila to do things like that, it's like, why is Sarah, you know, why is Sarah and Chris so okay with the fact that their 12-year-old daughter, the, the, the fact that Isla was teaching Mila to do things like that? They probably should, they, they, they should probably be turning Isla up and they should probably be turning Isla not to, uh, not to encourage, uh, not to encourage, um, you know, not to be encouraging Mila to do things like that. You know, and they should probably. Uh, I think they should probably. Uh, they, they should probably be telling the older three off, uh, the older three girls off for a lot of things because they seem to be. This sort. Of, this seems to be a bit of a problem where the older girls are kind of encouraging the younger two, Jason and Mila, to do a lot of things they shouldn't be doing. Um, it was like yesterday's tip. As I said yesterday's tip top video that Sarah put out. Uh, Jace and Mila fighting in the bank. You see Jace and Mila hitting each other. And Esme looked like she was encouraging them. And again, not that's not something that Esme should have been encouraging. If she was encouraging them to do that, then she probably shouldn't have been encouraging them to do that. You know, Ida shouldn't be encouraging me or teaching Mila to stick her middle finger up. You know, it, 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 it it's, it's just one of those things. It's like, you know, I feel... I, I, to be honest, I'm not angry. Well, I guess I am a little bit angry with them for putting that dog out yesterday, but, you know, I'm more, I'm more angry with the fact that they're so okay with the fact that their 12-year-old 12, their, their 12 daughter is teaching their 3-year-old daughter to stick her middle finger up. Like, 
that was only asking for problems. You know, when the when the older when the older three are encouraging the younger three to do things like that, that's only asking for problems. You know, and it's it it, it can cause a lot of problems. You know, um, I think they need. I just think they need to be careful what they're putting out online. Simple as that. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this little video uh, of what I did my thought, of what I would give my thoughts on yesterday's video and what I really thought about it. But uh, it is crazy to think, you know, it's so crazy. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you for a very, and I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye bye.